All right, hi and welcome back. Um, this time we're gonna do a key. This is for our 16th video for the 52 week blender challenge. So let's take this cube and let's see what we can do with it. So first thing source, we have subdivided this, but it turned out terrible. So let's delete it. All right, let's add another cube. Um, actually, add, let's add a plane and let's subdivide that first let's see r x 90 sweet that's what we want press one then we're going to tab and we're going to subdivide this quite a bit like three or four, four times that's good okay then let's get all rid of all these faces because we don't want them here at least for now oh, sweet I was trying to do with this cube. It was it was such a waste of time. Anyway, um, now one thing we gotta do is we gotta scale this because I kind of want to 3D print it, or just in case you do. So let's go to units, go to material, and we're gonna go with let's make this but like about an inch. So like. Yeah, so the key would be, man, not even like a third of an inch. So 0 0.33, let's go with three, four inches or three, five inches. All right, we're gonna do the same 0 0.35 inches and look, then press dot to find it. Wow, that is small. Uh, all right. Um, then tab edit mode, uh, let's give it some volume. So select everything A, uh, E, and we're gonna make it about, let's see, um, about like a third of an inch as well, so see 0.35 inches okay that's a, maybe a little more <laughs> all right but that's fine um all right so press all these faces here we might have to do some tricks but that's fine all right Let's go E just a bit. Actually, no. Go I, decrease. No, that is that is terrible. All right, just go to E just, just barely like that. Then we're gonna go for the inside, and this is gonna be a square here. Actually, select all these faces right here, except for these two, and let's do a subdivide there. All right, then select these. Right, that's not bad. Press E, just barely. Sweet. Okay. Now let's press three, and we're gonna cut this. Um, so press press tab. Let's get out of this, and we're gonna go to object transform. No, no. Sergeant to geometry. No, we don't want that. Let's go with set origin to massive volume. So that's pretty good. Now we're gonna go to tab, control R. So that's about the right place. And let's select all the faces here 
and delete them. Delete faces. Cool. All right, G Y. And now we're gonna go tab G Y. About the same. All right, that's not bad. And then tab. Let's add a modifier actually. Mirror, do the y axis. Let's see what's wrong here. Okay, there are. That's pretty good. Then exit out of this like that. And we're going to add a small cinder. Actually, press tab. And we're going to add control R here. And we're going to add here. This is going to be loop tool circle. No, that's not going to work. Let's see, loop tool circle. Nope. Let's press C. Let's go with faces. Circle. That is definitely not what we want. Okay, let's just add a cylinder. Uh, Shift A. Tab. Shift A. Cylinder, make it way smaller than it has to be. Okay, press three, S, like that, G, C, S, like that. Then tab, edit mode, and let's get this going. Three, C, G, C. So if we take this into consideration, the bottom part should be one third of what this is. So if you approximate, that's a pretty good size for a key. Nice, okay. Press tab. Let's go with um, a simple plane, shift A, make it way, 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 way smaller way smaller press 3 G C bring it up here we still want this a little smaller right about there okay then press 1 and we're gonna do R X 90 all right and then we're going to do RC 90. And then from there, press 1. And we're going to do tab E. We're going to control R. All right. Let's select this here. All right, this face here. Press one, E, Control R, split this. All right. Actually, no. Select that face, E, E, then E down here. It's approximate, it's fine, don't worry about it too much. All right. Like that. 
go to tab and then we're just literally going to do a modif uh, mirror modifier across the y-axis and actually no we're not going to do that we're going to do an array modifier or do not C there we are and then we're going to apply it I'm going to go to tab x-ray mode get rid of this or sorry P separate by selection tab object set origin to origin to geometry um, and then we're going to do just some a little bit of inflation here let's do this for that one too while we're here origin to geometry and then press 3 g1 actually delete this one shift d c right about here is good then r x 90 nope 180 sweet okay that's our key and it's pretty small so we can print it out and test out our 3d printer if we had one um to see like hey this is good let's see this s y we can make this smaller yeah because that's that's a little too big let's see let's add some materials to this actually this took a little longer than i expected sorry about that um it's just i couldn't get this to work with a cube and i i was trying everything and finally thought of a plane Let's see, add some metallic here. Gold. Let's set the color. Roughness. All right. Material. Let's add gold here. Let's add code and gold and we'll make this uh, like it no we're not doing that that's good all right we need to make a new material for this one let's remove that one and we're gonna do like a green dark green like that and make this metallic with a low that looks pretty nice um, and then we want to look and make it look better um, go to this press another material new go to tab edit mode go to this right here that's just I can't see viewport shading and let's select the faces here Right now,
All right. Let's go to this material, assign it. And then we're going to do a black. And let's go here so we can actually see the colors. Um, metallic roughness. See, it looks a lot nicer like this. And then we can also add, like, make this red or make this black too. See? So it looks pretty good. Um, hope you like it, and uh, until next time.